Yo, welcome back to your brand video, and today we're looking at Lugia EX in 2023. Is it any good? Now, Lugia EX does turn 10 years old later this year. Plasma Storm will have came out 10 years ago this year, and Lugia EX was actually a pretty good deck when it came out. Obviously, it used the Plasma Engine with Chorus's Machine, and you had Deoxys EX, you had Thunderous EX. It was a pretty solid deck. 2023 times have changed. EXs are now completely power crept out of the format. However, Lugia EX might have just found itself a brand new home and a reason to actually see play again. And that is all, funny enough, thanks to Lugia V-Star allowing you to put an Archeops into play. And then you can just Archeops powerful energy and plasma energy on your Lugia EX. And you can use it to knock out stuff like Crobat, Denes, and Leles, and all those little low HP Pokemon and take three prizes per KO. You can also knock out a tag team Pokemon with it if you two-shot it and you can take four prizes per knockout. Now, I do want to give a big shout out to Josh Hatter for the inspiration for this deck idea. I really like the idea of this combo, and it gave me a reason to try out a Lugia EX deck, which I've been thinking about for a while, but now that we have the Archeops Lugia combo, it might finally be time for Lugia EX to see play again, because this card is turning 10, and uh, Lugia EX in 2023, is it any good? I think so. So yeah, for the video, shout out to Sponsor Kirk Kevin TCG. As always, if you're ever looking for any PCGO packouts, get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin sells codes in line for the cheapest. If you're going to get any sets like Silver Tempest or any other older set or Crown Zenith when it comes out in a couple weeks, you can get them all over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin sells IRL singles too if you're looking for that also. If you get anything there, use my discount code, code LDF at the checkout to get yourself a 5 cent discount on your purchase. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help out Card Cabin. So shout out Card Cabin, check them out, use code LDF. Also, check out the Shovel Squad down below. Every Monday, I do post a new video, which means later today, there will be a brand new video that I am posting. And every Thursday, a new episode of our podcast goes live, which I do co-host. You can also check out my second channel down below for extra LDF content. I just posted a new video reacting to some new Scarlet and Violet cards that got revealed, um, like Palpad reprinted, and a brand new comeback tool card. But yeah, let's look at this deck here. Once again, Lugia EX in 2023. This card has fallen off. I mean, it, I think it fell off probably in like 2014. That's when this card probably stopped being good. But now that we have Archeops and funny enough, Lugia V-Star to make Lugia EX good again, it actually gives it a reason to see play because when the opponents in Expand and they're benching Pokemon, like Pokemon that can get KO'd by Plasma Gale with the powerful energy on, like again, Dedenne, Crobat, Lele come to mind or any just other like small support Pokemon. Maybe they'll bench a of Widow. They'll bench like... Um, something like a, a Ranguru, just trying to think of some low HP Pokemon off the top of my head. You can just knock them out Plasma Gale and take an extra prize. Even taking two prizes per a one prize knockout is pretty good in the tempo in the match. And of course, being able to knock out a two prizer and take half your prizes per knockout is kind of crazy. And it makes it makes it a lot easier and a lot faster to win the game with this deck. Now, Lugia V Star is already disgusting and expanded. We already looked at it before with Tina Chomp. But we're looking at it again because the main combo is you can go Battle Compressor, Archeops, and Discard Pile, play a Wally from your hand going second, and then you can Wally your Lugia V to V-Star and then turn one Tempest Dive your opponent, sometimes even just knocking out a tag team in the active spot, which is just dirty. One cool combo you can do this deck is, depending on the matchup, you can two-shot your opponent with Lugia V-Star and then finish off with Plasma Gale. If you're playing against a V-Max or a... Uh, a tag team, you can just Tempest Dive it for a bit of damage. They don't care, it, you know, doesn't get KO'd and they don't move it or something. You can just finish it off with a Plasma Gale and take four prize cards, making it even easier to win the game. Um, really not much more to talk about. I mean, again, Lugia EX having access to cards like Powerful Energy and uh, Plasma Energy is pretty good. DC is good. Muscle Band, Choice Bell for damage mods is nice too. Um, but yeah, not much more to really talk about. It's a very like straightforward Lugia deck. It's a bit more of an aggressive Lugia deck because you can attack with Lugia V-Star and then kind of win the game. Sometimes Lugia EX is how you just win the game. You sometimes save it to the end of the game and then you like gust something and knock it out. This deck does play a Guzma and two double, uh, two Leleys, two double Leleys, two Leleys, double Lele because it allows you to get Guzma and Wally in those uh, points when you need them. And that's the list. Once again, shout out to Josh Hatter for the inspiration for the deck. And uh, let's go show it off and show off Lugia EX in 2023. All right, let's see what we can do here with the Lugia deck in this match. Ooh, we lost the coin flip. Are we going first or second? Let's see. Going second. All right. Wally's on the table. Ooh, but we own a Lele, though. Hmm. Not a bad hand, I guess. We can get the Lugia off if I can get a if I get a Battle Compressor here, which could be good. We'll see, though. What are we playing against? EVV. Okay, well then. Machamp. Tag Team GX. All right, sure. Gutsy Pickaxe. Nothing? Okay. And at 270 HP, we can knock it out with Lugia. So what we can do is we can go Lugia V-Star Knockout and then Lugia EX Knockout. I can just take two knockouts back-to-back -back and win this game. That can be my little game plan here. Or, I, yeah, go Lugia EX first. Yeah, we might go down that road. So maybe, well, depending on what we draw, if I can get a Lele or if I get a Dene or Crobat or something, I can try to go down that road or a Lugia top deck. Because, yeah, ideally, we just take two knockouts and I win. 
All right, what do we draw? All right, that's pretty good. That does let me get there. I think I'm going to quick ball first. I'm going to grab... Go ahead and grab a Lugia here. Just check the deck here real quick. These stars in there. Archaeops. All right. If I can get a battle compressor off of this, we're chilling. Nope. Dang it. It's fine. Quick ball kind of saves it, to be honest. I mean, hitting for four. Does that even matter? I don't think we need even an energy drive here. It's not really relevant. Honestly, I kind of rather we just get the powerful energy on the Lugia now. Just to be able to blow up that thing. We'll just do Dene and pray. Here we go. We need to get Wally and Compressor and stuff. Can we do it? We. Yeah, we might. Can Wally into the V Star. And quick Ball first. Yeah, we'll Quick Ball first. Grab. I think I need a Lele for next turn, right? So I can Juniper. All right, here we go. Give me Battle Compressor. All right, we got there. Barely, though. Can't take a kill on this Eevee, though, but that's fine. We'll just do this. We'll computer search. Grab Compressor. Get rid of two Archaeops. And Ranger. We'll Summoning Star the Archaeops into play. I mean, I guess I could KO the Eevee, right? I guess I can KO the Eevee. It's kind of, it's nice food for Lugia X, though. We have DC, DC powerful. Yeah, I guess we can knock out the Eevee. I guess we'll take, I guess we'll take out the Eevee. That's fine, I guess. Feels kind of cheesy, though. No retreat. Knock out. And then if they go Machamp, I can knock that out. Marshamp can't KO me in return, right? Yeah, not, no way. All right, what do we got out of the prize here? Ultra Ball's good. And we got Ultra Ball again, okay. I mean, I would like to go Lugia EX still. So we can knock out... I mean, what I could do, though... You know how I can win this game? <laughs> I might even go for it just for the memes. I can Tempest Dive for 260. And then I can just kill the Lugia EX and win the game and take four prizes. I think I'm just going to do that, to be honest. Well, what about that V-Star? Uh, yeah, GX Power. If Pokemon has at least one extra energy on it, knocked out, it wouldn't get knocked out. So if they get, somehow get four energy on that thing, I can't do it. I got Lucario. Can that knock me out? Yeah, okay, well, they don't do much else. Yeah, that that's just a cool way to win. I kind of like that. I kind of like just going for the Lugia EX two-shot play. I kind of like that, honestly. I'm going to do it. I mean, I could just knock him out right here, but then we get blown up by Lucario. I think it's actually, honestly, looking at it, it's probably correct to actually do this play. Um, yeah, I'm just going to hold on to the other Archaeops. We'll just hit them. And then, literally next turn, if I attack the Marshamp, I win the game. That's all I have to do. It's just attack it with Lugia EX and I win the game. So we'll try to pull that off. I think that's definitely the way to go. Because if I knock out Marshamp, we get killed by Lucario. There's the switch. Should have Guzma on the deck. That's fine. They can Aura Star me for a million damage. That's fine, though. That does knock me out. And I should have Guzma. Is Guzma in the deck? It should be in there. I guess we can check to see. It should be in the deck. I remember seeing it. Right? Yeah, all right, cool. Just making sure. Yeah, we just win here. We just go Archaeops. We get a four prize KO on Marshan with Lugia EX. What an epic way to win. All right, we'll grab Guzma. Double Lele kind of saved me there, to be honest. What the double Lele? I want to pull this off. Well, I could have found Escape Rope too, I guess, but whatever. Plasma Gale, knock out Marshan and take four prize cards with Lugia EX in 2023. That's pretty epic. Bye bye, tag team Pokemon. So I guess that's how we can win the game. Take two knockouts back to back with a Lugia. Yeah, just take two KOs. That's all you got to do with this deck. This deck is ADP. You just got to take two, pri two knockouts and you win. It's just kind of wild how that works out. That was nice. Yeah, because, yeah, if I just watch all the Machamp there, I might have been in trouble, to be honest. I can't take out the Lucario, so it could have gotten a little sketchy. All right, we're going first, which is fine. We open up with a pretty good hand going first. Um, so I don't know what I'm playing against. Part of me wants to open up Lugia EX. I think I'm going to, because I, I don't know what I'm playing against, and if I'm playing against a deck that can knock out my Lugia turn one, then that would be bad. So I'm just going to open up Lugia as a Dedene. Might be a Lightning deck. That is good Lugia food, though. It's hoping for Battle Compressor there. Rip. It's fine. We'll grab, get Lugia. Um, might just hold. I'm just going to hold the hand. I mean, this could 
pay off if my opponent doesn't have like the most insane broken turn one ever and like takes out my Lugia V, we should be fine. Might be a lightning deck. If it's Pika Rom, we can beat it though. All I have to do is knock out of all we have to do is knock out a tag team Pokemon with Tempest Dive and then just KO to Dene with Lugia EX. That's basically how we can win. That's how we win this game. We just take two knockouts if they're playing a tag team deck. Um DCE. If they're playing Mad Party or something, or like Night March, we just also win with Lugia EX taking two prizes per KO. We need to survive the turn, though. Voltorb. There's a lightning deck. Yo, if they're playing an Electro that knocks itself out, that actually fixes the math. Because that makes it easier for me to win, because they're giving me a free prize with my Lugia. That's actually really good. It's Electro GX, isn't it? Oh, God. Well, they did open to Dene, so that's good. The Dene can't knock me out. Only it can paralyze me, actually, which is actually really annoying. I would have to Guzma my opponent, which I guess I can do. But they don't bench anything. I could find Rope, though, I guess. What are we playing against? I guess they could have, like, E-Power. Bro, if we get knocked out by a Dedene, bro, there's no way we're about to get killed by a Dedene. Ah, uh, well. They got Quick Ball. Only two energy in there. What are they going to turn into? Okay, they're turning into something. I'm kind of scared, bro. Um, they're going to turn into something here. Oh, God. They got a Dedene. They have two? I thought they only had one. No, not the double Dedene. Oh, this card is so broken. All right, that's bad. Switch. That's fine. Now they have to use the ability this turn. But I get two prizes, so they're kind of feeding me into the Lugia. What are they going to blow up into, though? That's what I'm trying to figure out here. Can they win this turn? Are they about to... Bro, are they going to win the game? Oh, my God. The card they found the back presser. Well, they don't have a good target yet. This thing doesn't move. I can also KO with Lugia. Take three prizes if they don't move. If they don't... If they... My Lugia lives, and I can pull out this V-Star return. Wait, what did they just get rid of there? More energy... It's all DCE and capture. I have no idea what I'm playing against. I think my Lugia is dead, though. I am fully confident my Lugia is about to die. That's fine, though. Lele and weakness guard. Oh, they're playing Blissey V, aren't they? Wait, are they playing Blissey? Because they're playing speed energy. I... I have no idea. It is Blissey. Well, here's how we win this game. We go knock out Blissey with Lugia, and then we knock out Dene with Lugia EX and win. So we just win in two attacks once again. That's how, because they're feeding me with Electrode. So that's fine. If they escape rope and knock out my Lugia, yeah, or my V, we're probably in trouble. Like, it's still Wally, though, maybe, if we're lucky. We'll see, though. But yeah, I can just win by knocking out. I can just win here by KOing these things. That's kind of, that's a lot of energy on a freaking Blissey. Okay. That's a lot of Ultra Balls. There's a Lele. That's a lot of Ultra Balls. That's a lot of balls in all in general. We got four balls in our hand. We got Quick Balls and Ultra Balls. Might actually be able to pull up our Keops. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Again, we can knock out this thing. We didn't get a cape on. We can knock out Blissey and then knock out Dedenne to win. So we can still win in two attacks. Even though that was a pretty insane turn one. That's like a paralyze me. That's, no, they can't GX. No, they can. Hmm. I guess they can still paralyze me. Another quick ball, bro. How many ball cards are we going to draw? Jeez Louise. Okay, we'll get rid of these two. Grab Archeops. Ultra Ball... Grab Dedene. Yeah, I'm just going to Dedene this turn, I think. It's fine. I'm going to play the Dedini. The Dedene. We've got Guzma. Okay, just making sure. Make sure we have Guzma in the deck, because it's kind of important. All right, well, Summoning Star, get the Archeops into play, and then we will Primal Turbo. Get two Powerfuls on. We just do 60. We can put a DC on while we're at it. Right. 240, 260. Wait, they have a, do they have a V-Guard on? No, they don't. Okay, just making sure. If they had a V-Guard on, ooh, could have thrown. And we'll did Dene. I guess I could have held the Lele for Guzma, which, yeah, we got it anyways. Never punished. Uh, Get rid of Wally. Thin out the deck a little bit. Just in case they, like, enter Marnie me, which... Oh, they could rock Sammy. You never know. It's possible. Tempest Dive. Knock him out. We'll keep the Chaotic Swell in play. And, all right. Now, they could paralyze me, but I do have game in hand. As long as they have two Pokemon in play, like a Pokemon I can take three prize, two prizes on or whatever, I win. So, I should have game. They have to basically... I mean, yeah, they could paralyze me with Dedene and then, like... Yeah, they could paralyze me with Dedene and then, like, enter Roxanne me, I guess. Which is probably their best chance of winning this. But, as long as I can get a Guzma out, we win the game. Because then I can just knock out Dedene with Lugia. So, that double Dedene they put down might cost them the game. You know, 
And Kenosha is one shot Blissey, but like, bro, we're going for the KO on the. We're, we're taking it. We're not. We're doing a Lugia EX win here. Lugia EX so far has been. I mean, well, the first game it got the knockout. Okay, they tingly return, and that's game. My opponent does not do anything else. And that will be GG's. I will Guzma up the Voltorb. Or the Dedene. Plasma energy is pretty good. We can Primal Turbo to the Lugia. Primal Turbo again. Now we're doing 160. Lele. Yeah, they didn't see the double Lele coming. Grab Guzma. Guzma the Voltorb. Bring in the Lugia. And Plasma Gale for the knockout. Taking two prizes. Winning the game with our Lugia EX. You love to see it. That got scary. I'm not going to lie. When they popped the Electrode, I was like, okay, this might be bad. But thankfully, Lugia, double Lugia combo, just, it, it, it's too good. All right, going first or second, you know what that means. We got a turn one Lugia. Okay, well, I mean, this hand is technically good. I'll have to see what we can make work. I might have to just do one Archeops. But if we're playing against Mew, that's probably doable. Uh, maybe. We'll see. If I can top deck a Battle Compressor, that would be nice. I would prefer to do double Lugia, but we'll see. Or double Archeops. But we're off to an okay start. I mean, the hand is doable. They open up with a Mew V. I can knock it out with Plasma Gale. Shadow Rider. Actually, maybe I can knock that out, actually. With the Belt. Yeah, no, I can knock it out with Belt. No, yeah, I can KO it. I need another... I need double Archeops, so to KO Shadow Rider. I can actually knock out Shadow Rider here, Lugia X, if I get double Archeops. We need to pull off double Archeops. Please give me an Ultra Ball or something. I like definitely have a KO. I definitely have a knockout. Like, we got the belt in our hand. Plasma energy attachment. I go double Archeops, put two, or put three powerfuls on, and then I'm doing enough to KO the belt on. You'll, you'll love to see it. Let's go. We got the KO. Let's go. Got everything in there. Yep. Okay, cool. Let's go. That's all I need to know. Just, well, actually, I might have prized powerful energy. I guess I jumped the gun. The only problem with this play is I leave myself in top deck mode, but... I mean, we're getting three prizes. Yeah, yeah, we got all the energy. We have, we're taking three prizes. Who cares? Like, bro, we're going to get something off our three prizes. No doubt in my mind. Also, I don't think they're even going to KO me in return. Because this is just disgusting. Lugia, yeah, baby, let's go. Lugia, yay, let's go. Primal Turbo. Archeops. Get all the powerfuls on it. I'm going to put a Plasma Energy on, too. Yeah, just to thin out the deck even more so I get a better chance of drawing out of this. Plasma Gale. I can knock out two Vs to win the game. That's just 30. Lugia X in 2023, baby. Is it any good in the title? I think it is. All right, give me a good prize. Not bad. Not great, though. That's okay. There we go. Beautiful. Computer search is all we need. Actually, now I just have game in hand. <laughs> now I just win. That's so filthy. Oh, man. Lugia, Lugia. Yo, I know y'all sub for that Lugia on Lugia action. There you go. We got the Lugia on Lugia action. We're just about to win in two turns. That's crazy, folks. Unless I get, like, two VMAXs. But here's the thing. Because I got that three prize kill, all I have to do is now knock out a VMAX and I win the game also. I don't even have to like, take another VO, but we're going to be able to. If they just shadow miss me, the game's over. Escape rope. It's fine. We'll go Lugia. At the very least, we can attack with Lugia. It doesn't really matter. Should have a way to knock out something here. If they have anything. If nothing, we just win here with Lugia EX. Just ravaging my opponent's poor little Stunfisk. It's unfortunate, but hey. And it's the power of Lugia EX. I guess I could play a Field Blower. Which would... That would, I guess, stop me from winning. Nah, I could still win. I could still do 200 damage with a 4 powerful energy Lugia EX. That's dirty. And that's game. They don't got anything. We just retreat. And win the game in two attacks with Lugia EX. That's freaking... That is disgusting. And we just won the game in two attacks with Lugia EX. That is so dirty. So, so dirty. My opponent didn't really get to set up, but, like, bro, when I'm taking three prizes per KO, who cares? Like, that's... <laughs> Yo, Lugia EX is kind of crazy, I ain't gonna lie. Is it the best partner for Lugia V-Star and Expanded? Yo, it could be. All right, let's try Lugia and Expanded here. We're gonna go second um, because you can't really go first and expand it all the time that. All right, we open up with not a bad hand. We got stuff. Uh, we got an Archeops, Ultra Ball. Really all we need in this scenario, so that's good. Now, we do have a pretty good, hopefully, turn coming up. I do want to knock out this Hoopa here, if I can, with 
Lugia EX. Now, if my opponent's playing a deck with a lot of low HP Pokemon, this might not be too bad. My opponent does have a pretty good turn one Battle Compressor. Okay. Do they have a Dark Patch to build up Moltres too? What's this Hoopa do again? I think he choose one of your opponent's Pokemon GX or EX and you, six times, but 30 on them. Ooh, yeah, that's kind of spicy. All right. That's their turn. We drew our own Battle Compressor. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of Archeops. Uh, we have two Lele's. How many Wallies? Just one. I was going to get rid of a Wally there. We'll get rid of Juniper, Arche Archeops, and Archeops. Yeah, I was going to get rid of the Wally if I had two in the deck for Via Seeker, but can't really do that. I'm going to get Wally here, knock him out with Lugia. It's tempting. I get two prize cards. It's very tempting to go for the KO here and just guarantee the Wally. I think I'm just going to Crobat instead. Like, I'm actually just totally fine with Crobatting. I don't think we're going to get the Lugia EX KO, but we don't need to do it this turn. I think I'd rather just Crobat here, try to set up a little bit. It's fine. Yeah, there we go. So I didn't want to I didn't want to have a dead hand, you know? Lugia's in there, right? Yeah, we didn't... I didn't want to have, like, a... I didn't want to have, like, a dead... Dead little hand going on. You know, don't want to be in top deck mode. You never know. You never know. It's expanded. You can't You can't trust expanded. All right. Uh, we'll compress her one more time. Get rid of... I'm going to get rid of a Lugia. Probably a... Get rid of Ranger. I don't think we need that. I think that's about it. I don't want to get rid of anything else. Thinking about getting rid of Guzma. Wouldn't be a bad idea. I think it's fine. We'll just Primal Turbo. Put a DC and a Powerful on. And then... We will Tempest Dive for a gajillion damage for the KO. And then next turn, we want to try to get a Lugia EX knockout. Now, I do have the Powerfuls committed on Lugia right now, so we'll have to get a special charge. That's a lot of Quick Balls. But yeah, I would love to get a knockout with Lugia EX here to try to win the game. But we can't really do... Well, at least take three prizes. If we take three prizes, that'd be pretty nice. All right, they do have a Dire Flame. Do they have anything else? They could have a boss here. Nope, they just scoop the game. I don't blame them. Sometimes Lugia... Just does too much damage, and you can't do much about it. All right, let's see what Lugia can do. Ooh, we lost the coin flip. Are we going first? We are not. So that's good. Nice, Lugia turn one. This hand's good if I can find a wall or compressor or something. I mean, we can even just put one Archeops in play, which is honestly not even that bad, but we'll see what we got. Moltres, Lugia EX food, potentially. They're playing a fire deck, though. It's fine. It can beat fire Pokemon. There's a quick ball getting played. What do they got here? What are we playing against? Probably something like Charizard V-Star or something, I imagine. Is there any Fire Pokemon expanded I have to watch out for? Probably not. Crobat, Lugia EX food right there. More Lugia food for me. The more Lugia food, the better. Actually, if they if they retrieve Moltres, that'd be nice. Because then I can... Oh, more Lugia EX food. Yo, they're just feeding my Lugia. My Lugia is looking starved right now. And I just see all these Lugia food. Oh, they don't retrieve the Mew, really. All right, Quick Ball. That's good. Okay, well, let's play this first. I mean, yeah, we can pull off the thing. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab this. We're just going to go do this. We're going to Ultra Ball. Go to these two. Grab Archeops. We got Wally in the deck. They're both in there. Yep. Okay. Well, one's in the deck. At least one. Just making sure. We'll get rid of that. Grab the Lele. We got the Lugias too, which is good. We'll go Wally. That works. Yep. Then we'll hold the research for next turn. Because ideally, next turn, we want to go Lugia EX. Start causing mayhem with that. I think I'm just going to go do this. Put two DCs on. That's fine. And we're just going to knock them out. Tempest Dive. You're dead. And then whatever they bring in next turn, I should be able to kill Lugia EX. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Ultra Ball. There we go. That gets me Lugia EX. But I might need Belt, though. They go into Crobat. Or we can maybe KO Crobat. I don't think we're going to KO Crobat unless I draw, like, a Dene. But I think it's fine to just knock out whatever. Like, even if I get three prize cards, or if I take two prize cards with Lugia on, like, a Mew, I'm fine with that. Because then they got three prizes. I have three prizes remaining, and it's, like, straightforward. I would prefer to maybe KO Crobat, though, take three prizes. And I have to take a two-prize knockout to win. So maybe we do want to try to target Crobat. They also might bring in, like, a V Pokemon that I can easily knock out Lugia. There's possibilities. But I kind of need the belt, though, don't I? I don't know. We'll see what they do. They're probably going to leave Mew in the active, which means I can just take a nice little three-prize knockout. If they go in a Crobat, or a two-prize kill, sorry, not three-prize. If they go in a Crobat, they're going to take three prizes. Do they have anything at all? Do they they didn't do much last turn, so I don't really know. Oh, they have a Raihan. That works. They have to get their main attacker. 
Now I'm curious if they're gonna give me the Crobat or they're gonna go Mew. I feel like, well, if they go Crobat, I get two prizes. So it's like, they probably don't want to. But they also might not want to leave Mew in the active because it's kind of good, you know? Aurora, whoa, they're playing Aurora. Okay, they can attack with Crobat. If they, but again, if they attack with Crobat, I'm gonna get a three prize knockout with Lugia EX. And I just kill their Mew Lugia and then I win the game. So I just take two knockouts with Lugia EX and I win if they go Crobat. Now, are they playing the VMAX? There's no way. But they're playing the VMAX. I can just go hit with Lugia and then kill Lugia EX. Like, it's like, bro, no matter what, your Crobat's a gunner. No, they're going Crobat. All right. Give me a quick ball top deck or a Lugia EX top deck one time. Be a seeker. Okay. I wanted to play the the choice belt. It's fine, though. We still have enough damage, I think, right? We got three powerfuls, which is, yeah, 180. So we go primal turbo and we're just gonna smack this crowbat in the face with lugia and take a nice three prize ko i like it a little via seeker research and then all we have to do is knock this mew and i win and with their current board state being super weak i don't think they're gonna do much so yeah we're just gonna retreat play this first please don't concede let me take this knockout that'd be great we'll get rid of this this Mother Lele is in there, right? No, it's prized. I'll get rid of these two for now. Oh, Lele is in the hand. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right, Plasma Gale. Nice little three prize KO. And I have game in hand. I can just Lele, Guzma, KO, Mew if they bring in a Pokemon that I can't one shot. But that powerful lets me do 200. Three prizes, man. I love it. Lugia EX, man. Broken. I, who would have thought Lugia EX was actually kind of solid in 2023 of all years? Of all years, 2023, Lugia EX being good. I pff, wouldn't have guessed it. Because, bro, the crazy thing about this deck, we're not even playing any of, like, the Plasma cards, apart from the Plasma Energy. We're not playing Deoxys EX, no Thunderous, no Kyurem, none like that. Yeah, that's just game over. Okay, well then. <laughs> and we drew the Plasma anyways. I don't even got Archeops. That just saves me a click. All right, and there we go. That's game. Lugia EX taking two knockouts. No idea what I was playing against. They had some Spice, though, but Spice doesn't work when I'm taking multiple prizes per KO with my Lugia EX of all cards. All right, let's see what we got with Lugia here. Going to go second. Obviously. Again, it's expanded. You can't trust going first nowadays. We open up with a decent hand. Um, as long as our other Lugia isn't prized, we should be able to get the Wally off this turn. What are we playing against is my question, though. Another dark deck. A lot of dark decks on PDCGO today, apparently. Roller skates. Okay, that's fine. Now, again, I don't want this to be the Lugia V-Star Wally show, so hopefully we get to use Lugia EX at some point. It's just kind of hard when Lugia is the better card, but... You know, double Lugia deck, what can you do? Guru, interesting card to grab. Uh, Moltres does have 220. It's a little bit harder to KO Lugia X anyways, so. Lugia X can KO Guru. That could be our way to win the game is to knock out two two prizers and then knock out Guru with Lugia EX to take the last two prize cards. So that can kind of be how we map out our game plan. Because Lugia EX can be a great game finisher when your opponent has low HP Pokemon in play um, to knock out. Else not bad. All right, well, mail first. That's all we needed was Battle Compressor. The other Lugia's in there, right? Not tripping. No, the Lugia's prized. Oh, no. So I don't have the V-Star this turn because my other Lugia is prized. That really sucks. Not much we can do there. We're going to actually... I mean, they can KO me. I think I have to prepare for the KO. That's really sad. We'll grab another Lugia. We have to prepare because they could knock me out. We're going to have to read the wind. Unfortunately, my other Lugia V-Star being prized costs, causes me to not be able to pull it off. So that's fine. Didn't really get anything. I read the wind there. Just kind of hoping we would. It's fine. Hopefully we don't get KO'd here, but we'll see. Our hand's okay. We can rope if I want. I have float stone. Part of me did want to get Lugia EX down, but I need the Lugia. Because, like, they can easily just knock me out. If they have a, if they have a choice belt here, they can KO me. And I don't, I, we need to not risk it. They research their whole hand away. All right. Let's see if they get anything else. Might be playing Darkrai. Darkrai could be interesting. All right, Dire Flame. Another Moltres. That's fine with me. That's not too scary. Hopefully not. No. Okay. They found the freaking choice belt. Of course they did. All right. Rip my boy. All right. See, this is why I got in the second, the second Lugia down. I knew that was going to happen. That really sucks. That's fine. Hopefully we can get a something soon. There's mail. That's good. All right, we can play that. We can play that. 
That helps quite a bit. All right, let's go double Archaeops and then blow this thing up. We'll go DCE. I kind of like DC Plasma and the Powerful. I need to conserve the Powerful Energy for the, for the other Lugia, you know? I can wait to mail. I don't have to do mail just yet. We can just knock him out. They can't kill me in a turn. Then we can next turn we can pop off. So let's knock him out here. 240 damage. And then we'll see we got out of the prize here. DC's good. The bottom card is always good too. Another Archaeops. Okay. Yeah, there's no reason to mail. Like, I mean, yeah, I'm not really we don't need anything just yet off mail. We can wait a turn to do mail. I would like to get a KO Lugi X, take three prizes. Or I can knock out Guru with Lugi X. Take three prizes that way. We have a couple options here. We'll see how it how it all goes. I don't know why my opponent's really playing. I guess it's just an attacking Moltres deck. Shouldn't be able to KO me. I'm hoping they don't knock me out. I guess that they have like some weird Thornton combo, maybe. I can't imagine they're gonna get a KO this turn, but you never know. I uh I've been wrong before. If they do get a knockout, we probably lose because I don't really have another good backup attacker. Unfortunately, I don't really have... Like, I would knock out Lugia EX, take three prizes, and then they just have, like, a response KO. It's probably game over. Lugia EX is not very not very fragile. All right, they do Guru here. Let's see what else my opponent does. Could get Marnie to end, of course. That is also a possibility, which hopefully doesn't happen, but we'll see. Let's see, this thing's got 190 HP. I guess Lugia EX with three powerfuls would do plus 60s, 180 with a belt. And I guess, yeah, Lugia EX can still kill this Moltres. And I prefer to kill Moltres Lugia EX. Get three prizes. I get like a huge lead. We get three extra prizes. Those three prizes could go a long way. So I think that's maybe what we'll try to do is knock out Moltres with Lugia EX. If they attack me, of course, which they should be able to. They just have to do their ability and attack. And then I can just go into Lugia EX. Assuming I can find a ball card off male. We can go Lugia EX here. There's a quick ball of their own. We'll see what else they grab here. I can also save Lugia EX for the end of the game. I don't have Guzma set up yet. I could Lele for it though. So I don't know. We'll see. Oh, they got baby Moltres. Hmm. Might have to save Lugia of EX for that. Well, to be fair, if I have two Lugia Xs. I can just go two. I can just Lugia my opponent twice. That also works. Or I can just knock out Lugia. They knock me out. And then I kill Lugia EX. That could also work too. A little surprise Lugia EX action. Kind of a late game card in this scenario, but it is kind of how it's going to go. All right, Aura Burn. Yeah, so I take the KO Lugi X. We'll see, we'll see. Let's see what Mail has in store for us. Ah, we didn't get anything. Okay, that's not good. So that's what I was worried about. We didn't get anything off that Mail. So we're just gonna have to take a knockout here. It was Tempest type. I got no, I got nothing off of that to help me out. Yikes, that Mail failed me. All right, we'll see what we got. There's Lele, that's good. Lugia V-Star, not so good. Lele helps though. We can, oh, but I already got rid of my Reese. Oh. I'm gonna get rid of Juniper. That's not good. We might... I mean, I could attack with Archaeops, I guess. Or I can kill Lele, too, I guess. Lele can also knock out. But if they attack me with a one-prizer, I can literally win the game with Lugia EX. We have the ability to win with Lugia EX here. We just need to actually draw into a way to find it, which currently I don't have a way to do that. That actually might be a problem. We'll see what they do here. They got the Demoltres... Do they have a way to attack with it this turn? They need a switching card and a energy. I don't even know. There's energy. Do they have a switch? They do. All right. They got the KO. So I can always take a knockout with Lele. Or I, I probably have to take a kill with Ar Archaeops, actually, because we run the risk of Lele getting KO'd and I lose the game. I think we just want to get Lugia. If I get Lugia EX, I literally win. I can literally win the game if I get Lugia EX. Lugia EX does take two prizes for KO Moltres. All I need is a Lugia EX out here, and I win this game. Please, PTCGO, let me do it. All right, Lugia EX. Can we pull it off? Let's see. What do we draw? We got it. So we can Ultra Ball. We got two in the deck. Yeah, okay, cool. We got the Plasma and the Powerful. That's all I need to know. Grab Lugia. Primal Turbo. Get those two on. We already are doing 120 damage. And we can take a knockout with Lugia EX to win the game. Taking two prizes on my opponent's uh, Glaring Moltres. And I go Lugia EX with Lugia V-Star. What a womp, wombo combo. Wacky wombo combo. Whoever thought Lugia EX would ever see play in 2023 like that. That's crazy.
You don't even, bro, we don't even play Plasma cards. We don't play Deoxys in this deck. There you have it. That is Lugia EX in 2023. This card is literally turning 10 years old later this year on the 10th anniversary of Plasma Storm's release. And this card is actually now going to maybe see play 10 years later, thanks to Lugia V-Star, funny enough, <laughs> letting you power this thing up in a single turn and then just Plasma Gale and take extra prizes per knocking stuff out. Kind of dirty. This combo was pretty filthy. Um, I mean, Wally Lugia is just a really dumb combo, but Lugia X is just, like, it, it basically turns you into like an ADP almost. Like, it's just that crazy of a combo. And I really enjoy this deck. Once again, shout out to Josh Hatter for the inspiration for the deck. And that'll be it for me on my Lugia combo here. Hope you enjoyed today's PCO video on Lugia X in 2023. Hope y'all enjoyed. If y'all enjoyed the video, leave a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me in the way of reaching 37,000 subs. We just hit 37.8k subs, or 36, sorry, 0.8k subs. So we're now less than 200 subscribers away from 37k. So if you haven't subbed to the channel, click that subscribe button right now. Stop what you're doing. Click that subscribe button. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Check out card comment down below. If you have any codes, use code off. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, and my Discord. Check out the Shovel Squad. There should be a brand new video out on the channel today. It might be a deck profile video, too, for Crown Zenith deck. You definitely want to look out on that. Check out the podcast, too, on uh, every Thursday. Check out my second channel for extra LDF content. Just did a video looking at some brand new cards that got revealed from Scarlet and Violet. Thanks for all watching, and bye-bye.